Well, well, here we are again with another guest, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't had Andy on my show yet, but Andy has brought me a tremendous amount of guests throughout Vegas. So I'm very grateful. Andy, how are you? Wonderful. Well, I've been calling him Dale, actually, and I keep uh, saying Dale, and he doesn't look at me, he doesn't bother about me, and that's because his name is Andy. <laughs> now I know why. It's brand new. Now, how are you coping with this, uh, I don't know what we want to call it, the virus, pandemic, everybody has a different name. Well, it's really horrible for me. First of all, I'm a sports fan. And oh, so, no! <laughs> so it started right around March Madness, and uh, I usually have five, six friends fly in all of America, and that's usually like one of my most fun weekends, and of course that all got cancelled And that out. got cancelled, so yeah. it was like a phone, or, or, or it was the, the, the Zoom, or whatever? No, there was nothing. I mean, they, they oh, just can't, nothing. They just cancelled all the best college basketball games. So and I thought they were coming back. Well, the pros are going to attempt to come back in about a month, but the college championship, college things, nothing March at all. Madness, there was no March Madness at all this year. And in Las Vegas, that's actually bigger than Super Bowl weekend. Uh, See, not, I wouldn't know this because right. I'm not really into sports, but right. I'm going to start being into sports because then I, cause I mm. like to be in everything. Okay. And it's so popular that when people come here for March Madness, they always instantly book to come back again next year because I had so much fun because there's like 16 games a day for four straight days. Oh my goodness, 16 games? A day for four, four straight days. And there's all sorts of betting going on. And they, they start, they have, like one game starts at eight, the next one's at 8.30, not. And so that way, one game's ending and you can put your bets in a bet. That it's a very high Do you know activity. The, the, and when you said betting, that's the greatest thing because what is Vegas? As Vegas is gambling mm -hmm. all the time. So there's no reason why no. you wouldn't gamble. Yes, so it, you couldn't anyway. do this. And so this this whole this COVID is deadly. It, it like killed a lot of businesses, like uh, Ricardo's Mexican Restaurant, which I've always just loved to go to. It closed down. I'm very sad. I, mean, that's just, I love Ricardo's. I know. That was my very. It closed down completely. It, it's been a family business here over forty years, and they just shut it down because. With all this, they just couldn't afford to make it go. They couldn't, well, obviously, you know, and I can understand that because right. they still got rent to pay or they've got whatever they have to pay, they mm -hmm. have to pay. But yeah, but so a lot of it happening because you've been in Vegas a long time, yes, right? Yes, I have about 20 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the difference you've seen right now than mm -hmm. it was, say, three, say, March, say, in, in probably February. Yeah, no. February we were running. Right, we had the Super Bowl. It was very, very vibrant. Um, I actually remember um, we went on the cru I went on a cruise in January. I went from uh, Fort Lauderdale through the Panama Canal. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was tremendous. And then we were in Fort Lauderdale. The thing was vibrant. I come back here. I went to Tony Robbins' birthday party in Los Angeles in February. I mean, things were vibrant. And, and then all of a sudden, there was nothing. It was really pathetic. So this has kind of shut you down. Oh, totally. I so mean, Paul Andy's got nothing to do anymore except go and gamble. It, it, and you can't do as much as that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! That's it. So look at all the money you're saving. Well, no, I, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. Which, well, you're a poker player, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. And yes. you're, he's not just a poker player. Mm -hmm. I actually cashed in last year's World Series, <gasps> which, which was a big deal I, because there's over seven thousand players, and I came in approximately four hundred fiftieth. So, so out of seven thousand players, that's yeah. amazing. Yes, so that was a big deal. I, I mean. You really have to keep your focus and concentration. There was 12 hours the first, uh, 14 hours the first day, 12 hours the second day, and I was into the 11th hour of the third day when I got a set of kings, which is tremendous, and the other guy beat me with quad sevens, which is the, the chance of that happening is like, you know, one in whatever. It was, and I, I was, was really I doing was going to well. say it was probably after you were so tired. No, that, I was brilliant. But you were, I, was, I love what's there, but I'm brilliant. No, some so, days you don't have it. These particular, I mean, I was focused. I was you playing. Were focused as well, and you I, felt I was playing as well as I could possibly play, and um, everything was okay, going great. Okay, so as we're talking about, so I happen to love card games. So, okay. um, you know, I'm going to say, say you got a king and a seven. Right. Okay, and they're two different. Right. You're probably just mucking that hand. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. You, okay. Got, what is that? When you get a high card and a low card, mm -hmm. and it's of the same suit, is that good to keep? Probably not, um, unless you can get in very, very. I'm trying cheaply. to get some secrets here. I'm not getting. Yeah, I'm not getting very far, am I? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the back end here. All right, so let me rephrase. Okay, and the other thing. I'm going to rephrase. Okay. Go ahead. Well, the other thing is what. To remember is that remember why you got into the hand in the first place. You might have an ace seven of diamonds because you were in for the diamonds, and now the flush comes. I mean, the flop comes out, and there's an ace out there, but. So now you've got a pair of aces, but, so I, I, but, but so, 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 three so, other people might have the same thing. That's great. And, um, and all the other cards are black, so you really don't have a diamond draw anymore. You really just have to be mature enough to realize your ticket. Throw the card in. Now, if you've already, you've already got some money in the game. Yes. So 
and, and it doesn't come up the way you for the for the flush right. it's come up as two kings so you say you've got you know a hundred dollars in there I don't know what 200 or whatever and so you're going to lose that Probably. so you've got to swallow Ooh, I don't know if I like that <laughs> but you have to swallow that rather than putting more money in and losing 300 or 400 or doubling up whatever they do I don't know poker requires a lot of discipline and, and just like real life, you have great expectations and sometimes it just doesn't work out. It just out. doesn't work because you're pushing, pushing the envelope too far mm -hmm. and we have in our minds what we want, which is actually not there. That's correct. So we have to readjust our minds, I think, in everything, but we're, talk, but we're talking about poker at the but, moment. But card by card by card, for, for example, a discipline I have is no matter what I have in my hand, the first thing I look at when I see the flop and, and hold them, you, uh, everyone gets two cards, then they flop three cards, a fourth, and then a fifth. So, so you have a betting opportunity before the flop, on the flop, on the turn, and at the river, which is the last card. And the discipline I'm I always have. Confused already. <laughs> Go ahead. But the, dis right. the discipline. I'm on a river now. <laughs> okay. The discipline I have though is um, at the flop. What's the best possible hand you could possibly after you've what seen the you flop? What you can make out of your hand no, and no, the flop. No, no. First, you just. What's the best spot? So, so you don't get married to your hand too strongly. You have to look out there. You know what's the best possible. So hand? they're now marrying a pair of cards. And then there's the fourth <laughs> card. What's the best possible? Because the one minute's clubs, the next minute this looks like a straight. The next so. So you, you could get lots of different things out of a card, and you've got to have discipline. I, it's unbelievable. And you should always play at the level that you can afford to play. If you play in a game that's too big for you, and the other guy puts out a thousand dollars, you're a dead duck. Yeah, it's like. If you have to put all your money in at that point in time, I mean, you really have to have a very strong hand in order to do to that. Do that yes. And so you can get bullied uh, by the other guy who may not even have as nearly as good a hand as you, but he just knows he can bully you. Because he's got the money. He's got the money. So that's why you have to play at the level of game where, plus you don't want to play too low a game because then there's no discipline at all. If it's only another dollar, another, then then you're really not really, not there's worth no, it. no strategy. There's nothing, no right. strategy. It's not right. worth it. You're right. going to just make you a dollar. Right. And so... You, and so um, so you have to find that level where, at the end of the day, you're happy. So your goal might have just been to make $200 that day or $300, and, and, you, and you played well, and you made your $200, and you had a great day. But somebody else, $200 just isn't even worth their while. Not even worth their right. while. Now, talking to Andy on all this, it mm -hmm. sounds that this is your main thing that you do. Is this your main way of making a living, or your main thing you do? Well, well, well normally I have, I have some magicians, some hypnotists, some comedians, and I help book them around town, but right now... There's uh, nothing else there's to nothing do except to, to, to do. gamble. How right. lovely is mm -hmm. that? <laughs> but yeah. you're right. No, so let, let's get back into the other thing. So you, because you've brought me many people to my show. I sure have. And thank you, Andy. You're welcome. And you know, we like to promote them and push sure. them out there, and we mm -hmm. do the best we possibly okay. can. Well, in our audience today, we, we've got Drina Freed, and she was on your show. Yes. Because her grandmother is Taylor Caldwell, the author. And so she's working on getting some people to make some more movies out of the books and just encourage people to, because uh, Taylor Colvo was actually as popular as John Steinbeck back in the day. Wow, yes, and yes. She, she had, I think, 30-something bestsellers. So, yes. uh, so So that was one of the people you had on the show. Yes. Um, and my magician, um, Jason Powers, where oh, Jason you, Powers, you, 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 yes. you, you had a great interview going, and then you happened to ask him, why aren't there more women in magic, which <laughs> we had to defend, he's not a woman, and he had to defend that. It was like it threw him a curveball. It's like this was something he wasn't planning on. It was just very, See, that's very funny. the idea. That's yes. the, that, well, that's the idea to throw a curveball because mm -mm. then they don't, because usually they have their little going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Well, that's not necessarily how I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. So when I throw this curve, well, they go, Ooh, what, what, what's she no, doing? It, it was so, just fascinating how the, the interview was going along this track and all, oh, look, there's <laughs> <laughs> well, it went over. <laughs> Well, that's just like I had Andy on to talk about the celebrities, and we've been gambling so far. There so there's a different curveball going on. So Absolutely. now we're going to get back. Let's get back to the guests. So we've had all these guests on, right. which are amazing. Mm -hmm. So you, but you can't do anything now. So how are you going? How are you working that? Not well. <laughs> But I mean, in some cases, you are talking about potential projects down the road. And yes, what have you. that's what I. And, yes, and, uh, you're absolutely doing that, and you're staying yes. in touch. 
I mean, if you're a comedian or a magician, maybe you're now working on your craft behind the scenes. Yes. Yeah, and so there so is. So maybe some you're changing your. Instead of doing the same thing that you've been doing for a few years, mm -hmm. maybe you'll change it and get a few different magic tricks in there or a few right. different songs in mm -hmm. there. And that you have to rehearse and that you have to do. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. you've got to be careful, you know, you're mm -hmm. not going to get. It's a good time to get good stuff out there. Sure. But what about if they start getting good stuff out there and putting it on the internet rather than. Because that's the only place they can do it. And, and you might not want to even put it out on the internet. I mean, you want your stuff to be... F so the answer is, fresh. when the entertainment does come back, there should be a lot of new fresh stuff. No matter yes. whether it's my client or not, there should be new fresh stuff. Because unless you have a paying clientele that's actually paying to see on the internet, which is very, I mean, very rare. Very so, rare. So the answer is that um, they should be uh, creating fresh stuff so that when people actually go to see them, They've it, got something new to see. Absolutely. How do you think it's going? Are they? Go I mean, we know they've opened up the casinos, but they've had a little bit of problems. Right. So, do you think they're going to stay open, but mm -hmm. curve a little bit of what what they're yeah. allowing? Yeah. Or well, I, I definitely think they're not going to. I mean, it they're would not be, closing down. Not again. closing. Right. No, that would just right. be a nightmare. But, that would be a uh, total nightmare for but the I mean, world. But but still, the magicians, the comedians, whatever. I mean, with the new rules, with the separation and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's going to be hard for a lot of these things to make profits. Uh, to make any money out yeah, of it. Yeah. Just because if all of a sudden you're only allowed to have 25 people in the audience and uh, they only pay ten dollars, whatever the expense and the everything. So it's going to be difficult. I mean, without question, very, very it's going to be difficult. So to begin. what? And then if they they're not doing their work they love, the mm -hmm. entertainers, and they've got to get another. The job. Mm -hmm. How do they manage? Because then everybody else has already maintained those jobs, okay. or ready to go back. Well, one of the jokes that um, before this thing even happened was, how do you get a professional poker player to come to your home? <laughs> you order a pizza, and then <laughs> so so there's some alternatives. That's how you get celebrities coming home. <laughs> He's now your so Uber Eats person, or to get your Uber <laughs> driver is going to be a celebrity. That's right. So I'm so just watch out, hey, when you call Uber, don't forget, right? It, it could be anybody that's uh, you know. Make sure you got your books and get a signature. Okay. <laughs> I know people who've been unemployed, unfortunately, for this period, and they're unemployed specifically because of this, and yet they haven't received dime one yet. And that's just because Nevada is, wasn't ready for this. I mean, there are people who legitimately should be getting unemployment right now. Do you think Nevada um, was a little bit strict on their rules of, and also strict on coming back? Because they took a long time to come back and, and oh. they kind of closed everybody down. The, there was places that really didn't need to be closed down. Oh, I, I totally feel that way. I mean, yeah. abs absolutely, because I mean, I think Nevada, if you go to many of the restaurants, they've done a great job of separating. I mean, you should be able to eat in these restaurants now and what have you. And I I, I'm so shocked too. that there's some cities like... Uh, New Jersey and New York were supposed to open up the restaurants and now they put them off again. They seem to be attacking the restaurants, don't they? Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, they've got everybody on the beach, they've got mm -hmm. everybody doing all these marches, mm -hmm. and then, oh, restaurants, careful how you eat, careful how you right. breathe, careful how you do anything. Yes, I mean, I don't understand. If this thing's so easy to spread, then why aren't more of those marchers sick? We, we, I haven't heard very much about, you know, the protesters being sick. Well, yeah, well, they've actually, they did have that on, and it's the first time I heard it was this morning I heard it, and mm -hmm. somebody said, well, no, we, nobody's got the virus from the marches or anything and the to he turned around and he said what do you mean nobody's got it how do you know <laughs> right they're not they're not turning themselves in no of course but they're not yeah. they're, of course i mean why should they okay. they can all march and all be together and not get anything okay mm -hmm. well i haven't got it you haven't got it a lot Thank of people goodness. but we are in distance i'm not in sure. a march i'm mm -hmm. not doing a whole bunch right. of stuff and whatever have you okay so you actually um take care of talent you look out how do people reach you with your you also have another we've got a water bottle here. yes we do that's now, totally new topic but i'll be glad to uh we're changing topics because <laughs> he said, we, I did this before with somebody with some magic thing. <laughs> it's it's well, all now good. I've gone from gambling, <laughs> I've gone from talent, and now we're into the water business. Okay. okay. We haven't discussed Tony this Robbins, who I've oh, worked Tony for. Oh, Tony Robbins as well. Okay. I worked for oh, Tony goodness. for many, many years. Yes. And, um, and, and, how and is he? Tony is how outstanding. Old is how old is he? How, not how old is he? How tall is he? 6'8 or something? Well, not probably 6'6, six, six, but I mean, he's six, a very six. solid, athletic 6'6. Uh, six, six. Is he that guy? Energy. Good guy? Tremendous guy. And actually, the, I went to his birthday party on February 29th because he's a leap year baby. And uh, that was actually the last thing. So we he gives him all the brains up here as a leap year. We, 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 I flew to LA to his big party. at 3,000 people at the party. and. Uh, so he's kind of a personal friend of yours. Oh, I, I've known him for 40 years, yes. He would know me instantly. Yeah, I mean, we, yes. Oh, nice. So it's all good. And I mean, I used to work with him on a constant basis. And uh, I used to go to Hawaii with him for three weeks every year, every September at the Hilton Waikoloa. And he called it Mastery University. And people would pay $10,000 a week to be there. And um, 
Oh, it was tremendous. No wonder he's so brainy and knows about a lot of stuff. You've been picking your brain from, from Tony Robbins. Oh, absolutely. He's been helping you how to guide everything. All right, so I need a little of that. Absolutely, I'd be willing to share. Go this way. Mm -hmm. I need to get a little bit of these brains working a little more. Absolutely. Yeah. The, um, I mean, he, he taught many, many lessons. Uh, one of the one is to um, have the compelling question uh, to direct you in your life. Now, for me, my question is, what's the best thing to do next? Because in life, you, you may well, have the right best... right now. Right, right now is good. All the time. I mean, I'm just saying, in life, if you're in a traffic jam, if you're late for a meeting, if some track... Because in everyone's life, a, a something, friend happens. Be, something happens. Mm -hmm. And some people will instantly, unfortunately, go to, like, the wrong question of, like... A, how much am I going to miss yeah. this person, or you know, why are bad things happening to me? I mean, these questions are not going to help you get ahead. <laughs> but so you have to train yourself. Why does this always happen to me? No, exactly. That's yes. a question where the right. question is never going to be answered. Right. Or if it is, it's not going to be the right. It's, it's not going to help be you. The right answer. <laughs> it is not going to help you. And uh, but I'm saying to train yourself in advance to like when, so that you know to go to that question. Uh, I mean, there's just sometimes when you're around total dread. I mean, or like when March Madness goes on, you know. You can just get into how disappointing it is, how unfair that it is. It's depressing. Right. It's not, it's not and gonna that's not going to do any good to you. Not at all. So your message is? What's the best thing to do next? What, the, what is the best thing? Remember the word best. Right. Mm -hmm. Which and is not bad, it's something right. the best. Best, good. Best, yes, and so you're, uh, you're directed, you know, so directed you towards. Avoid your, so you're taking yourself away from that tragedy, whatever you want to call right. it, mm -hmm. and putting yourself into, a, you're going from a negative to a positive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So in other words, what, what you're saying, Andy, Dale, no, Andy, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. What you're saying, Andy, is that stay positive or if you, it's funny because I think that way. Okay. If you can't do anything about a situation, what's the point of worrying about it? What's the point of continuing it? Go to the next one and it'll sort itself out or in time it'll work itself out. Sure. Mm -hmm. And probably has nothing to do with anything and it should go away anyway. You know, how it's how much easier it is to solve other people's problems because they don't have the pressure that you have on that yourself. You have yourself. So if you learn to dissociate from the pressure and can actually think, train yourself as though you're someone else. Like, uh, what would you advise what me to do? Yes. And, and so you can actually give your own self advice without the pressure. I like that because mm -hmm. I don't. I, I don't have pressure. I don't work with pressure. I well, never have. Good. I don't. I don't because I do that. <laughs> I, if I can't resolve it, off, mm -hmm. how, what can I take care? How can I do this? And if I can't, what's the point of worrying? I can't do anything about it. There you go. No so problem. now, if we can't do anything about it, but we're clean inside and we're feeling good, we drink water. Yes. So back to the water. <laughs> okay. Fine. Um, well, one of the things Tony has said for years is the importance of being hydrated. And just for your overall, Tony Robbins is very big into being as healthy oh, as possible. Yes. Health. Okay. And one of the things he's always recommended was alkaline water. And the, um, the, the one that's really the best is a company called Kangen. And uh, with this virus came to town, um, I decided, because you want to keep your immune system as strong as oh, possible. Of course, yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, most uh, people with cancer, that's acidic. So you want to be alkaline. Also, there's some people that have... Um, Pepsin, uh, pepsin ulcers they have there's, there's oh, just acid, a number acid, acid, acid reflex, reflex all that, all that and, and so this is where alkaline water and could, that's mm -hmm. when you have any of those yeah. things wrong with you mm -hmm. that's because of what you eat and right. what your sure. nervous system and what you eat absolutely and and, uh, and so acidic is bad and so anything so eating sprouts is that's very alkaline putting sprouts in your salad i and love it, sprouts okay well they're an outstanding part of, of your and if you're still drinking Coca-Cola, you're really not trying, because uh, Coca-Cola Coca -Cola is just totally acidic. Acidic, so, yes. And so, um, any opportunity you can to be more alkaline than acidic is good for it's your health. Good for you. And now with this COVID out there, and also just bring, it, everyone's going to come across these different diseases, different whether it be this well, virus or whatever. It doesn't matter. But, but if your immune system is strong, it's just going to, you know, you're, you're it won't take not to get it right. or to feel better. Right. And that's what this water does. Right. And this is really, really fresh water in that you're making it at your sink. It's actually, whereas the water you buy in a bottle at your store, it might have been in that bottle for six months. It might have been, it might have been out in the heat, the cold. Whereas this is something I make fresh for myself every single day. Every day you make and, fresh for yourself. Yeah, and I'm giving you, obviously, this gift of the water. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so I've got a gift You'll be hydrated. Because I'm going to make sure I drink the water. Because I'm not a water drinker. Okay. But this water I will probably drink. Yeah. Now, also, I noticed you've got this gadget on here, which is the gadget which is put in your home. Yes, that, that's the idea. Actual, that's the actual this yeah. is a it, it, it's actually a, it's considered a, I mean it's expensive it's not just like your water purifier it's 10,000 or something isn't it <laughs> well, the, for the whole for the whole package of things in that area 
It's about five thousand for that particular. For the, for the, the, but um, you actually can have. I'll um, stop with the bottle of water. <laughs> which is fine. But I'm just saying they they actually have eleven point five pH, which is you can actually clean your vegetables because uh, vegetables have a lot of pesticides and things like yes, that. Yes, they do. So so having really alkaline water to do that, and on the other side, two point five acidic water is perfect for you actually uh, cleaning your everything I mean, your, your carpets your your hands or whatever i mean so that you truly uh, w with all this uh, well, stuff your, on your whole home can be cleansed right. absolutely and so that's that's totally the opposite I, I side. think that's definitely what we want in this day and age and mm -hmm. for what's going on everybody is i mean a lot of people's homes have never been so clean people have never been so clean mm -hmm. hands have never been washed so much mm -hmm. we're all, we've all been purified well not, not all of us but most of us hopefully absolutely hopefully and so uh, anyway i'm just a believer in trying to keep your immune system as strong as possible and being hydrated uh you should be drinking a little bit if you're not you should be drinking before you get thirsty. You shouldn't ever be getting thirsty because you should at least be sipping some water through the day. Through the day you have to drink water. I'm not a good water drinker, but maybe this will encourage me of everything. Else. I think you'll find this going to be delicious. Now, how can anybody get hold of you for the water? Oh, okay. okay. For the for the gambling tricks, for, for the water to cleanse yourself, yes. and also for talent. Absolutely. Well, my phone number is 702-283-1795. And if you want to learn about the water, you just go to Kangan.com and look it up, and I'll be glad to talk with you about it. If you're in Las Vegas, I'll be glad to bring you some gallon, five gallon water, whatever. I'll bring whatever, you some I'll water. Whatever, I'll bring some water for yeah. free. Yeah, he, for free. He brings bring it, this, is my, this is my present, actually. Absolutely. So I've got a present. I've never had a present of water, actually, well, there you before, go. so this mm -hmm. is something very, very new. Mm -hmm. Well, Andy, you've been a you're very inspirational, well, there you absolutely go. amazing guest. He knows an awful lot about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course, the gambling part is definitely part of Vegas, mm -hmm. because that's what Vegas is. Mm -hmm. and then we want to be clean and then we need all the talent so you are actually creating a tremendous amount for Vegas absolutely so without you Vegas, there would not be a but, Vegas well, I don't agree with that but I <laughs> I definitely live the I mean you live, live it yeah I mean I go to see Celine Dion or I, I mean I go to the shows I, I just enjoy the Vegas experience I love it when people come to town I get to introduce so you actually love the strip absolutely like I force people to go to see Carrot Top I mean, I'll have some people coming in and say, oh, I want to see this show, this. I say, I'll do all that for you, but I'm bringing in the carrot top also, and not a one of them has ever, I mean, it's, I'm just, it's just an example of something that living here and seeing the show or some of the I other things. I couldn't agree with right. you because I have never said, oh, I never go to the strip, I just stay on the, well, I never go on the outside, I just go to the strip because that's where the action is. I love action, so, and also the pepper mill. I mean, this place has been oh. here since 1972. Mm -hmm. No, but I actually, part, part of my sh showing people Vegas is I try to come in here on Tuesday, and, and you've seen me here I've, before, he and, and I, I, I bring people here just Andy to see you. Andy is one of my greatest supporters, absolutely. He always brings people, always comes down, and he shows everything, because this is really pretty yeah. cool, Well, this is, this is part of the, pretty much behind the scenes fun stuff. That, this uh, is fun stuff yeah. behind the scenes, and mm -hmm. I think we're one of the only shows actually on the Strip. I don't uh, think uh, there's uh, any shows at the moment on the Strip, so, yeah. so don't forget you can come This down. is the number one show on the Strip right now. There <laughs> you go. Oh, I see, I love it, I love it, I love it. It is Vegas Live with Ninon, number one show on the strip. We film every Tuesday from one o'clock to three o'clock, and that is obviously um, Pacific time, right? Of course. And then also, of course, you know, come and be a guest if you want to, but you have to call. So don't forget to also subscribe, go to YouTube and subscribe, get everything out there, and, uh, and we can promote you. There We're you great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. Thank you, Andy. My guests are always Isn't happy. he wonderful? Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. We will see you soon. Take care. Yeah. If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.